Yo, what up? Day 79, we made it. We're at the hotel. Hotel gym. They got enough. It ain't as good as the, the gym back home, but, but it'll do. All the gyms are closed right now anyway. But yeah, let's hop in this warm up and get after it. Yo, what up? Welcome. It's uh, a little bit quieter in here. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit of echo. That's okay. Um, it's late, dude. It's 10 p.m. I got here super late. I ran and I got some groceries. Um, so I'm gonna make that grocery haul video. But uh, I had to get. A, I couldn't go to sleep without getting a lift in. So um, today, per usual on Mondays, I do overhead press. You know, typically we do barbell, but. We're kind of limited to the dumbbells. The dumbbells only go up to 50 pounds, but it'll do. There's a cable machine, which is sick. So we, we're going to do a lot of flies today um, and do some incline bench and some overhead press with these dumbbells. And get after, it's not going to be, uh, you know, it's nice to have variety at, at, at a gym. And we don't have that right now, so it's not going to be as fun of a lift. But uh, uh, this, you know, I think it'd be kind of good for you guys to see that you guys can Still get a crazy physique and still get a really good exercise with just dumbbells only. But yeah, let's hop into it. Oh man, traveling all day. I got a little heavy. Uh, they got it. I'm trying to think the last time I lifted this late. It's been a long freaking time, man. And if you got, yeah, I just, if you guys probably noticed, I got a sinus, I don't know if it's an infection or what. I definitely got a head cold. I got some, I got some pressure going on. But let's do three more sets like that. Dude, this sounds ridiculous. You think that I would be super comfortable in a gym all by myself, but I'm not. This is so awkward, dude. This is so awkward. I don't know, man. Like the, it's not really awkward. It's just like the gym is like a vibe. Let's do three more sets, just like that. Airport food is the worst, man. I have traveled a lot, dude. And, it, well, it depends, right? It depends on where you go. And, like, if sure, if you're, like, a club member for some, for some airline, it's probably a little bit better. But I'm just talking about, like, in, like, general, like, restaurants and stuff, right? So, I had breakfast. And, anyway, I went. My first leg, I had a protein bar. And those Babita Crunch, which was just like made of oats or whatever. So I got some carbs and some protein there. And then the next leg, 
I got a Southwest, Southwest chicken sandwich. But it's just so hard to find good food. Like, it tastes like crap, too. Like, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I, um, I hit my macros today. We're pretty close. Pretty close. I got to eat after this and um, um, take a protein shake and whatnot. But uh, it's just... It's not... Conduce, it's not conducive for gains, man, in the airport. <laughs> Everything is just convenient, and a lot of it isn't healthy. And you kind of go towards, like, the more healthy choices, and it tastes like garbage. Like, that chicken sandwich was not that good, but I scarfed it down. And uh, I, I'm just by eyeballing it, it looked like a six-ounce patty. A chicken, bre a chicken breast patty, whatever it was. But there was two thin patties, but this thin, but this big. There's two of them stacked. So I was just gonna guess like six, eight ounces. So definitely between you know fifty or forty to seventy grams of protein. But yeah, man, airport food is the worst, dude. It's the worst. But uh, oh, it's all right. I got some good groceries, man. One day's not gonna hurt us, right? We still got our protein and carbs in. Um, yeah, enough yapping, skip. Tell you what though, this hotel is nice. This is really, really nice. I, was, I mean, you guys will see the suite later. Put me up in a suite, bro. <sighs> Call me lazy. But I have a stove top. I didn't buy anything to make on the stove. For one, I don't have seasoning. Um, but two, you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> Can we just admire my just sheer dedication, traveling all day, doing a lift at freaking 10 p.m.? This is insane. This is insane, dude. This is insane. I'm definitely like, I'm telling you, man, I don't want to go on a rant. I feel like a rant is, is, is coming, but making sure you're staying fueled before your exercise is so important, man. So important, dude. Um, you know, traveling at the airport and the airport food <laughs> is not the best. It, it was hard to like, to kind of like, I don't know. It was hard to eat like, like I would on a typical day. So I'm feeling a little lethargic, um, but I'm just gonna push through this, man. I'm gonna push through this. You know, we got the dumbbells, which is great. We got the cable machine. This is this is all we need to get a good pump. So, um, I'll get back on track. The first day is always the hardest, man. <laughs> always the hardest, dude. I can't believe I got here so late. It's kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. All right, I had a low flask. Start like a press. Squeeze it at the bottom. Ugh. <sighs> 
do two more sets. I'm very thankful I got this cable machine. Let's do four sets right here. Four sets, complete failure. I already got to go pump after two, so let's do two more, and then we'll do some incline dumbbells. I'm bummed we can't do dips, but I'm very, very happy we have cables. Cause the stretch, dude, th these these will do just fine. These will do just fine, man. <sighs> I'm too tired. Don't even ask. I'm too tired to come up with a, a lower pec variation with dumbbells. <laughs> a variation you could do. Here, I'll show you real quick. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do them because these cables feel really good. Um, if you don't have cables. Get on a chair or something. Sorry, let me back up. So, see this bench right here? So what you could do is like body weight diffs on like a bench or a chair. And you could even like, if you wanted to add weight or do like progressive overloading over time, you could add like more weight with dumbbells, lay them across your lap. So what you could do, it, this ain't near as good as a dip, but you can, this is mostly gonna be on your triceps, but you can, I mean, you're gonna stretch your pec. Oh, that's a variation you could do. Yeah, those will do, those will do. All right, let's do some incline dumbbell press. So one thing I've never talked about really because we do barbell bench um, is at what position should you have the bench to get the most tension on your upper pec? And typically that's gonna be between like, I've seen 15 to 30, I've seen 15 to 45. I just stay right at 30, man, just make it easy. So um, about 30 degrees, um, typically, you know, that's usually where most you know, fix um, benches are for like an incline. If you got like an incline press machine or a station, those are typically fixed around 30 degrees too. So, but yeah, just as long, I mean, if you kind of get up more upright, you're gonna transfer that tension to your front delt and your side delts. And then the, the flatter you get, the more, the more parallel with the ground you are, the more it's gonna be on the middle of your pack too. So keep it 30 degrees and that's, then you're good, man, then you're good. So. I'm gonna grab these 50s, um, probably do four sets of this, and then uh, we'll do one more fly variation, and, and that's it, man. Um, pretty pretty simple, dude. I'm, I'm not waiting super long. I'm kind of close to this because I do have to go to bed. <laughs> it's kind of late, um, but I, I have a really good pump, man. Super, I said this like six times now, super thankful for the cable machine. That is a, that is a hotel fitness center game changer right there. So I'm not pushing all the way up because when I roll up like this, I'm putting the tension on my front delt. So I'm keeping my shoulders retracted, leaving that chest open up, stretch. See, I'm right here. Uh, 
Okay. Now we'll do some flies with the Kevin machine. Um, a dumbbell variation you do with this is just lay flat, have the bench parallel with the ground, and just do flies like that too. But since we got this Kevin machine, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Oh, yeah, that felt, that felt nice, that felt nice. Let's do two more sets like that and we're done. I've like, I've caught my second wind. I'm not gonna lie, I was dragging when I got in here, but I had, I had to, I had to work out. And if I'm working out, why not record a little bit too? So, I, I feel like I caught my second wind, man. And we're almost done. <laughs> two more sets. Look, this is, I don't wanna call this an active rest day. Um, definitely not as intense, but you know, be realistic, man. Traveling all day, eating airport food, like, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. It's, it's okay. We're human. or something <laughs> going crazy let's go start doing those back home man that felt insane bro I like it because so the the pec deck you're fixed in a position right you're fixed and you have to just be fluid with that position where those cables you can kind of adjust to like your anatomy and what like my muscle connection you have so anyway I don't know can you guys see me good all right Sliding in here is dope, dude. Definitely getting leaner. I like it. All right, I'll see you guys in the uh, suite. So I forgot two things, man. Ah, my scale and my creatine powder. Shoot. 
so now I gotta go buy creatine tomorrow because I'm not gonna be here for two weeks without creatine, right? For that that extra muscle hydration. This is gonna allow my you know my muscles to recover and push more sets and reps out. But yeah, so these are just these Bavita Crunch snacks. They're about 30 grams of carbs. I've already had I've had a lot today. Around 200. Normally. I'll refuel with like, so since I lift in the morning, right, I'll wake up, I'll have about 100 grams of carbs, boom, breakfast, wait like two hours, go lift, and then immediately after breakfast, I'll have like anywhere from 70 to 100 more. I only eat around 250 to 280 a day, but I make it, I try to time most of my carb intake to be in the morning, so I'm fueled for my workout, and then immediately after, so... I'm replenishing my, my glycogen depletion, right? Um, but, you know, I've ate a lot today and I could smash on a lot of carbs right now, but that would put me in a surplus. So it is what it is. So we're gonna, we're gonna snack on these Bavita Crunch Blueberry Bites. Um, yeah, man. This place is nice, dude. I can make some really bad jokes about this couch, too. <laughs> They're about sitting on a couch being recorded but no one no one would believe me anyway but um yeah so just to recap like the gym is nice because of the variety you get and stuff you know what I mean it's nice to have specific equipment that targets specific muscles you know the different cable machines the, the dip platforms the bench the squat racks like all that stuff but you can still you can still experience hypertrophy, right? You can still build muscle with just dumbbells. You might have to get a little creative. And sure, you might, so, you might have to buy a bench or some resistance bands, but you can, if, if you're, like, anxious about going to the gym, like, you can do a lot at home, too. But, granted, to me, it's not as fun. I like going, you know, the ambient noises of the gym, all the equipment, you know, this loud weight being slammed to the floor, you know, right, right beside you. Like, that's fun for me. So, plus I just like picking people's brains and learning stuff. But, um, yeah, just to recap, uh, you know, we did the incline dumbbells, which was nice. Those 50s, you know, the 50 pound was the most they had down there. But it was still fine. Slow and control. Felt really good. We did overhead press with dumbbells. Same weight, 50s. The high to low felt amazing. And I'm like... Cody, if you're watching this, when I when we get home, we're doing the 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 upright bench flies because I'm beating the dead horse again. But you know the pec deck is nice, but it, you're you're fixing a certain position, right? A certain angle. Whereas that you can kind of adjust, you know, your elbows or whatever, whatever helps you make that better connection with the with your pec and stretching and squeezing them. But yeah. Anyway, all right. So rude, ain't it? I'm teasing you guys. I did buy some groceries. They're all piled up over there. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'll post a lifting video or not, but I'm 100... I'll think about it. You know me. My mind changes so much. I'm 100% going to post my, my grocery haul and talk about my thought process and why I grab the things that I grab. And I think that'd be kind of cool for, like, for the ones that travel. Or, uh, you know, go on vacation. You know what I mean? I don't know about you, but, I mean, it's nice to have fun and relax on vacation, but I'm pretty committed on, you know, becoming a bodybuilder, and I want to do what I can to, to make sure I don't lose any momentum, you know, whether I'm on vacation or traveling for work. So, look, my club is light. I got to go edit, take a shower. And uh, get ready for work tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for being here. Love you guys.